I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Expeditions Viking. In the previous part we defeated Oslifer so he joined us and today we can return back to the village but I noticed that there are two people still here on this island who want to talk to us or at least it uh, looks like they want to talk to us so I'll try to make sure that we don't miss anything important. Well, there's nothing important here and the other one uh, it's the same thing. I just uh, are glad that we didn't uh, exile or kill us lifer. Okay. So let's go back. Hopefully no one else will challenge us anymore. Uh, the short boat ride back is as uneventful as the trip out. Holgon Island is clearly visible from the shore outside Skjern. You return victorious. Nefia secure has a shield on her back. I'm glad that's dealt with. What's next? We'll have to do something about Erlinger Thorgisselson. As long as he lives, his family poses a threat. Let's actually do it right away. Okay, some tips about exploration. And that's the father of those fools that attacked us during that funeral feast. So in order to travel to travel to different location, we always need to find these uh, like milestones, or I don't know how to call this. Uh, and when we click on them, we'll get uh, the world map. travel to a different location. This is Skjern and we need to get to this village or village farm. Okay, let's go. And here we can choose our companions for uh, like the next zone. We don't have the maximum amount available yet. We can take only uh, three people. Maximum is five always, but we should be able to handle this with just uh, um, our three friends because we killed uh, those uh, four fools right after they challenged us. So hopefully there won't be too many people left. You stop your horses on the outskirts of Erling Erlinger Torgesson's homestead. Smoke rises lazily from at the roof of the large building. Trolls are going about their business in the fields. So far it looks like nobody's noticed your arrival. The kettle takes a deep breath. Here we are. I hope this pans out better than I expect. Nefia surveys the scene with a thoughtful expression. There are more thralls uh, here than I remembered. They are poorly armed, but they will defend their master if it comes to that. A surprise attack would give us a strong advantage. We might circle around the back and set fire to the houses. A sound plan, but I would hate to bring such a death to Erlinger. He may be a bitter old bastard, but he deserves a chance to die with honor. Okay. I think I'll go with the first option. We'll let him know we are here. Uh, he gets a chance to defend himself. Good. An honest fight will send a strong signal. That's exactly a stronger signal. That's what I'm trying to do. We are more than a match for those stubborn old goat anyway. Even with all these trolls. An old man stands in front of his farmhouse. You know him, but not well. His family is always stuck uh, to the outskirts, never happy to call her father their tain. In his youth, he built his house by himself. Now he's grey of hair and his skin is lined with wrinkles. 
yet he still stands proud as the patriarch of this of his home homestead. Um, you've killed my sons and ended my line. There is no one here besides myself, my daughter, and the wives of my sons. Leave, just leave us uh, to our grief. Hmm. So we tell him that he is responsible, or we tell him that we kill him and exile the woman, the women. Or we tell him that we kill everyone, including the women. Or we exile all of them. And killing them with surprise attack, I don't really care about that. Let's go with the first option. Your sons violated the peace of uh, Alfgar's funeral. They may have been drunk, but you turned them against us and shrilled them up. No. It was an act of youthful foolishness, that's all. You have nothing more to fear from our family, I swear it. Us life for mothers disdainfully. Horseshit. Now, I don't want to leave anyone alive to get into trouble later to have a rival, who knows what could happen, let's just go this way. Uh, whether they raise the blade against us or not, everyone here is a traitor to the clan, no matter of your family, no member of your family will leave this place alive. From what we've heard, they're always causing problems, so let's just get rid of them. No, please, at least spare the women. Too late. What's the chance to hit? 95. And what's the chance to hit with a quick shot? 75. Might be better to just hide somewhere. There's no reason to rush things. Deserves to be commemorated in verse. Should be able to kill him and still get back, I think. You hope to best me? Pathetic. Damn, not far enough. I was hoping that I could maybe cover our archers, or maybe I can still cover our archers. At least one. Okay, so these are the trolls, but they shouldn't be problem. There's another troll. There's another one. Well, there's quite a few. How many do we still have alive? One, 
One troll, I think. These are the women. They seem to be running away. There's another troll. So, two more trolls. And Erlinger. That's not too bad. Stun him again. Because now Kethel can shoot and he won't get attacked. Um, can still use the quick shot after the ranging shot, I think, yeah. And it increases our chance to get to 95%. Come on. Oh, I can't finish him off. Couple more hits like can. that, and I've earned a rune stone. Two crits. Good. And this should be a kill because he can't use the shield while he's stunned. And Nephia should be able to finish him off. Good. this way damage would this be? Probably need all three attacks that we have still available to kill this one. It's surprisingly tough. Maybe it's not even a, a thrall. Damn, she'll survive all the attacks. Another one down. Where's the, the last one? Or last one. One that we can't reach yet. Here behind the fence. Uh, can we get there? No, not yet. And Nephia will help here somewhere. Let's move a bit closer. Okay. It's only 55%. Maybe I should have used the normal shot. Oh. 
Oh, hey, they're trying to fight. Probably. I see you know how to use that. Let me grab a drink quickly. At 75 might be better to get closer just in case we need the quick shot for the next turn no don't think so okay one more turn Was your maker calling you home? But that's all the traitors gone. The fight is over and the silence is deafening. Kettle is staring at Erlinger's corpse. Stubborn, stubborn old fool. Um, it had to be done. Erlinger's dead ties up a very old loose end. He's been sowing discord amongst the clan for years. Things will be easier now he's dead. Yeah, I knew that it was a better option to just kill all of them, make sure we don't get into trouble with him again. Uh, a sniper snaps angrily. Please don't talk about him that way. You'll have to decide who should take over the farm. Uh, the blonde warrior clenches his fist. Uh, let this corpse cool before we start bickering over his property. Right, we should uh, head back home. I want to look around before we leave. Yeah, I definitely want to have a look around. First, I want to loot the corpses. Thin hatchet. That is what? One handed axe? What's well, quite bad. Do we have anyone who can use one handed axe? Um, a slifer is a swordsman. Nephia is using spears and knives. Kettle is a bone, of course. And I think that I should actually upgrade his bow skill so that he has a uh, end shot as well. How many points do we have? Not enough to get anything useful. What about Nephia? She has enough points to get another rank in Spear. Smack an adjacent enemy for 50% damage, making it confused. Physical resistance, endurance minus 3. And then Take one step back without incurring attack of opportunity. That's not bad. I 
Okay, let's do it. It's not just the new ability, it's also more damage with the spear. And how many points do we have? 19. And we need 18 to get another rank and bow. Okay, let's take it. So it's basically level ups done. And back to looting. There's another corpse. Empty. And there will be definitely some crates around here and barrels that we can loot. Hey, Fork. Oh, the damage looks pretty bad. Uh, come on. Nothing. Oh. It's also crap. And white chisel. It's also pretty bad. Okay, so no upgrades. So it's not surprising. But um, as I said, I should uh, loot all, all the barrels on their more corpses. Empty. And the saw. Problem is, I don't know what kind of weapon the saw is. Oh, can we build it like a sword? In that case, let's compare this sword. Nine, uh, 5 to 12, or 5 to 12, it's the same thing. Oh, what the hell? Who is this? Derpian Skarpedinson. A solitary troll is chopping firewood on the outskirts of the farm. Hearing your approach, he puts down the axe and wipes the sweat of his brow. Did you come from the farm? What's all the ruckus? Wait, you are the Tane. That's right. That fight was about the old man's son, wasn't it? I knew this would happen as soon as I heard the, what they did. Mm. You didn't come to your master's aid. He got himself into that fight. He could get himself out of it for all I care. Say, uh, what did you do to him? Trials are pretty important resource in this game, so I don't want to just release him. I think we'll go with the second option. Erlinger was killed, you belong to me now. Fair enough, one master is as good as another, uh, far as I'm concerned. Good. Listen, seeing as how your business here is concluded, may I propose a trade? Uh, a troll proposing a trade, it should be good. I used to be an outlaw, my band, and I ambushed farmers and merchants in the forest south of here. Before I was caught and enthralled, I hid my most valuable possessions. Among the stash was the club bear, which once belonged to my wife. The trinket is the only thing I care about. If you'll find it for me, you can keep the rest. Okay, why is the stash? It's down well next to an old ruined house in your forest, tied to a rope and uh, weighted down with rocks. It's mostly jewelry, um, it's mostly jewelry, come on country, it's mostly silver jewelry and my old sword. You can keep all that, just bring me the claw, I beg you. Okay. We are still not done with this. We have to return to the village, but we don't need to have the quest active to find our way back to the village. I'd like to see the direction for the for the other quest. It's also a different zone. Never mind. Well, okay. We can try to find that claw.
this was the first time I found that NPC. So I don't know what to expect from this quest. Old farmhouse of Erwin's family was being allowed to fall completely into ruins since they moved into a new house. So nothing important. Oh, there's some medicine. Or, not medicine yet, herbs. What is this? This looks like a small grave, about the size of a full grown dog. Fair shield. Um, here we have a shield bear. This one is better. Congratulations. Basically, all of these things we are picking up are materials for crafting. Is there anything else? Let's check the map. We are almost done. Oh, there is something. Here, uh, we could still find something. No. So I think it's time to go back to the village. I hope that I didn't miss anything important. Three days later. You wake in the early morning to the sound of running feet and panic shouting. Someone pounds on your door so rapidly and so furiously you can hear the hinges creak. The muffled boys belong to Kveldulfer the smith, after Rurik Ostrich. Uh, are you in there? We are under attack. It's raiders from the sea. Your brother and your mother are scrambling out of their beds, rumbling the, uh, rubbing the sleep from their eyes and shaking the confusion from their heads. Do your weapons and armor. You grab the most essential equipment and throw uh, on your clothes. Outside, fire roars to life, and the sun still crashing against steel reaches you from the direction of the coast. Oh. I'll keep mother safe. Please take care of uh, yourself out there and go find Kettle and Nephia. Uh, we'll bar the door until it's safe. And what is this? Nothing. Uh, can we get something useful before we leave? No, not really. Well, that there is something. Never noticed this. First sword your father forged. It's a it's not a great weapon, but it's not a, it's a bad first effort. Okay, nothing we can use. So let's check the inventory before we run out. I think we are fine. Come on. Kettle almost runs straight into you as you step outside. He has a wide look in his eyes. You're awake! Um, calm down, what's happening? Where are the others? North, Northmen are attacking us from both north and south. The face holding the bridge. A sniper went through and forced the north entrance. We are... Uh, no, where are the beacons not lit? What, what beacons? Why are the beacons not lit? A look of grim realization comes over him. No, they weren't. 
Okay, let's send these picky sonars back where they came from. Lead the way. I think we need to switch. Uh, yeah, this is the quest. Okay, so we either go north or we go south. I think we, I think we start south. And then get north to... Actually, where is... Aslife, or here. But that will be something for the next part. This one is over. So next time I'll be defending our village. And as usual, I hope that you like this part. That you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.